he's got his first test wicket. Congratulations all round for Terry Alderman, a vital wicket, and what a one to claim, too, as your first test victim, the great Jeff Boycott. A very important breakthrough indeed for Australia. Yes, he's gone. Another lovely outswinger just leaving the bat. Willie had to play a stroke. And no mistake with the catch. Another fine bit of bowling by Terry Alderman and England in deeper trouble at 92 for five. Right over the top of it, swinging Yorker and England's captain on his way. And a great bit of bowling again by Alderman. And you can see the disappointment on Botham's face. It can be a cruel game. True. And a good catch again. There at uh, fourth slip is Graham Yallop. And once again, it's a wicket falling to a catch in that uh, close cordon behind the stumps. Graham Yallop taking the catch to give Alderman his fourth wicket. What a dream debut for this young West Australian. And he's gone. Couldn't get his bat out of the way of that one. Little outside edge. Marsh making no mistake. And Alderman has got Jeff Boycott out for the second time in the match. And England are in trouble, only 18 runs ahead at 12 for two in this second innings. Again, this movement away from the bat. Good length ball. Draws Boycott forward. And up they go. No mistake whatsoever. Very experienced player with three test hundreds against Australia. He's got a better record against Australia than against any other team is going to need all that experience now. Oh, yes. And a uh, great catch. A very fine low catch indeed by Rodney Marsh. And England now really in deep trouble at 13 for three. A pair for Bob Woolmer on his return to the England side. And another very good delivery indeed by Alderman. And it wouldn't, I think, have carried to slip, so Marsh probably had to go for it. <laughs> yes, he's out. The ball nipping back. Danton doubled up by it and uh, unable to keep it out. And David Constant having no doubts. England 109 for seven. Ball down to an LBW to Alderman for three and the first vital breakthrough for Australia this morning. Good piece of bowling this by Terry Alderman. Previous two deliveries going away. That one going straight on. Pitching just outside the off stump and hitting Paul Downton in front of middle and off. That's in the air and a simple catch for Rodney Marsh. England's ninth wicket goes down. Alderman takes his fifth and his ninth in the game. And England have just one man left. And this was a quite a nasty lifting delivery, which uh, did he try to pull? And I think, in fact, it went off his glove in the end. And a nice little lob cap. Very well bowled, but my word, it did cut a long way off the seam. Alan Border safely took it there at slip. I reckon that must have pitched around about middle and leg and finished up outside off stump. Uh, David Gower has gone for nine, 37 for three now. Excellent piece of bowling from Terry Alderman.
That's close, yes. I'm afraid he has to go LBW again. Second time in the match, Mike Gatting, and Alderman has struck again. He removed Gower. Now he's taken Gatting, and England 41 for four. Mike Gatting felt it might have been going down the leg side. Keep us fairly well in line with the leg stump. That's usually quite a good guide. And he's gone and a very reluctant lever of the crease. Alderman getting the vital breakthrough for Australia when it seemed that Boycott just simply couldn't be penetrated. And he does not look very happy with that, but that's partly, I'm sure, because he's not put a foot wrong. Oh, and a rather soft dismissal, but very well bowled. The man placed there for it, and Ray Bright making no mistake, a simple catch. Lifting a bit, and Bob Taylor sometimes inclined to pop the ball up in that area. Becomes the seventh man out, and Alderman's fourth victim. It was always on the cards once Alderman decided that would uh, be his angle of attack. Complete change of angle there. It was always likely to non plus the left hand out. But what a splendid knock that was from Graham Dilly. 56. Bold Alderman. Oh, that's out. Yes, that was absolutely plumb. And Alderman has got the ball moving around out there very nicely the outswinger to the right hander and that was a very good delivery yes I don't think there was much doubt at all about that that was a fine delivery by Alderman he's got just the right amount of swing this broad didn't get a long way forward and this ball set off round about the well middle middle and off and just straighten onto about middle middle and like and halfway up the front leg but Chris Broad didn't get a big stride in there and I don't think there's much doubt at all about that good balling by to the other one for example of Cook well he took one forward one back oh it's bowled in second middle six duck Embury Bowled by Alderman for naught. England 185 for six. Remarkable that that got through. Terry Alderman's taken a second new ball, and that is almost among the least likely events of the day after the damage he and Hughes had done early on. And that's out. So the taking of the new ball worked. Dilly's the man out caught. Off the bowling of Alderman. He goes for seven. Russell's left undefeated on 64. And England all out for 286. And the new ball, just that little bit of extra pace off the wicket. That's on the edge. And carrying through the side. But very good performance there by the England tailing batsman. And you see that again, just carrying. So this wicket is pretty easy pace. Earlier on in the day, that would have probably carried much higher up the slip. But I think it's gone to a good batting pitch now, and Australia will be well satisfied with that performance. If you just compare the action that it was eight years ago, there wasn't much of a difference. He was one bowler who knew how to dismiss the tail. He never, never let it wag for long. Alderman reduced Graham Goods to such a shamble in 1989 that he asked to be left out of the test team, a personal victory for Alderman that symbolized the series. 
So here he is camping Graham Gooch for a duck in his sixth wicket haul in the second innings. That's LBW, Gooch gone without scoring, playing across Alderman. And Australia have struck straight away in this England second innings. What a blow that is. Gooch, LBW, without scoring. Yes, Alderman again getting very close in, bowling wicket to wicket. And that ball just holding up again from the leg side a little. Gooch having to play across that front leg a little. And that really is a blow for England. Gooch is the one batsman who's looked capable of going on and playing a long innings. But he's on his way for nothing. That might be out. Certainly very confident and given. Dickie Bird waited to think about it and Kim Barnett looks a candidate for that sort of dismissal. On the shuffle. And with Alderman always likely to move the ball about a bit. That's the result. Now, pad is in position almost before Alderman bowls. It, it hits the pad first onto the bat. And another bit of good captaincy by Alan Border. He's got the man in the right place. The bat pad and the second England wicket goes down with the eight, total on 18. And he's given it. Gassing out. Well, he's had a look round, wandering away. Very disappointed in the jubilant Australian side. Mike Gatting can't believe it. Set himself to play a long innings. Out for 22 in England now, 84 for four. And really, it is so straight that uh, he's just got to play. Came back up the hill a little. And... Uh, Lack of misjudgment, uh, one that he's done time and time again. Ball in. A sad end to a great fight, but jubilation and joy for Australia because the last of the recognised batsmen has been bowled by Terry Alderman. Robin Smith is out for 96.